we have played a few games in the season now. And after the first five games, we are around about mid-table, fulfilling our pre-season expectations. But today, we are looking up. We've got a game against High Flying Stoke in third place in the league. Who would have thought they'd be there at this point of the season? And sixth place, Everton. Two big games. Are we going to be looking up? Or are we in for another relegation battle? Hopefully, we'll get some answers for you today. What is happening guys, my name is Adam, I am a Super Swan and welcome back to episode 12 of Saving Swans. Today we go up against Stoke City who are third in the league. They've won four games and lost one. They, they are doing well. They are doing pretty well in the league. I know we're at home but I think we've got a chance to come away the victory there. Uh, since you were last with me after the Tottenham game... We beat Peterborough in the Carabao Cup. I'm feeling a, a second string team in the Carabao Cup. I can see Nordfeld, Norton, Fernandez, Klukas all getting games there. So we beat them 2-1. You know, we were 2-0 up just after half-time. You know, quite an easy game, really. We didn't really have any risk of losing it. Uh, we beat Palace 1-0 in the league. Stuani with a penalty. Very close game. Very sort of, you know, back and forth. But... We managed to hold on to the win. Then we got absolutely hammered by Liverpool. Destroyed. Very similar to the Spurs game. They were just scoring for fun against us. We did score one, but uh, it wasn't quite enough. But we did draw against Man City. Boney scored just on the brink of half-time after Arthur Mendy scored. And we, man, I, I literally parked the bus. I literally parked the bus for the second half. And we held on to a one all. And then Jordan A, who got a brace in the Carabao Cup. So we got a bit, our form's been a bit here and there. I mean, looking at it, we're 11th in the table, which is mid table. It's something the board wanted. So we're doing all right, we're on target. As long as we can keep our points above the games played, we'll be all right. We'll be all right. So we go to the Stoke game. Oh, I should also mention as well, we've got a bit of an injury crisis at the moment. If we look at the current injuries, Bartley and Mawson are out, so two of our four centre-backs are out injured. Mawson's out till the 10th of October, so another week's time. Borja Lasso's also out. He's out until November. So we haven't really got an out-and-out -out attacking midfielder at this point. So if we look at the tactics for the Stoke game, we're playing Boney as an attacking midfielder. And Fernandez is coming in as our centre-back um, option for Mawson there. Timo Horn's still in the team. Young Fernandez, Lascelles, Rika... Mesa and Berg are in our midfield. Johnny on the left, Stuani on the right. Wilfred Boney is going to be our advanced playmaker. And Jordan Ayew is going to be playing up front. So, in today's episode, as well as the Stoke game, we're going to be going up against Everton as well. So, that's our two games. And depending on how we get on, we'll see how far ahead we'll skip for the next episode. So, Fernandez is struggling a bit for fitness, but... He's kind of our only option at this point. So Stoke are playing very well. They are third in the league. Won four, lost one. So this is going to be very interesting to see how we get on against them. I would like to win our home games and draw our away games. That's the goal. But you never know. Anything can happen in football. Absolutely anything. So let's see how we get on the opening... We'll put in 10 minutes here. You know, we're dominating possession, 68%. We get a lot of shots in as well, which is a good sign. And Lascelles is injured. So that's our third centre-back. Injured. Brilliant. So, folks, who went, sir, you're going to have to do a job there, mate. So that's our third centre-back injured. So that's Kyle Bartley, Lascelles and Fernandez, All injured. Oh, sorry, not Fernandez, Lascelles. So, Fernandez is our only... Oh, good save team, Horn. Le... Fernandez is our only out and out centre-back that we have that's not injured. We've got Mufosa Mensa, which I bought for his versatility. So, at least we got him. But that's a through ball to Bojan. Oof. And that's over the bar. So, they're coming back into it with the shots there. There are two clear-cut chances, though. But Johnny on the left-hand side gets it to Rocky Mesa. 
sees Wolf Raboni playing as an attacking midfielder, and Stuani blasts it over the bar. I mean, we've got the possession, but we need to do more with it. So get creative, boys. Show me something. We're getting all the shots, and we've got all the possession. So this is a winnable game for us. Stuani with Sebastian Young. Can he cross it in? He can. And is that a penalty? It is! Ayu was shoved by Wimmer. And I think it should be Stuani taking the penalty. He normally does. Yes, yeah, Stuani with the penalty. Oh, and it's down the middle. And Stuani makes it 1-0. I thought he might have saved it from the angle, but no, no. He got it. Yeah, he blasted it. I think it was so powerful, Butland didn't have a chance. She didn't have a chance. That's good. So 1-0 up. We've lost the centre-back, but we've got to go. So let's see if we can build on that. Berg in the middle to Boney. Stuani going to pick that up. Is he going to see Young? No, he crosses it himself. Oh, that's a goal! What a cross that was! Johnny with a nice finish. But what a low cross that was. Let me, I want to see that again. So Big's going to send it out to Boney. He was going to send that to Stuani. A lovely low cross that goes right through the team. Jordan Ayew leaves it for Johnny as well. That is a good goal. We are playing well. I think our get creative shout has done the job. And I do appreciate their efforts. Is there anything I want to tweak tactics wise? Um, I don't know, everybody seems to be alright. Can Marcus Lorente play Mozella? I can. So I might bring him on for Mesa. About about the hour mark. So we get the game underway. So as usual, we'll make changes about an hour in. Depending on how we are. Jordan Ayu to Johnny. Oh, what? Rika. Oh, that's the end of the highlight. So we're doing all right. We're 2 0 up. Showing some promise against the team that were third in the league. Big clears. Can Young hoof it? Hoof it, Young. Good boy. Boney. Oh, that's a decent ball to Jordan Ayew. Jordan Ayew, can he finish? No, he can't. He does well in the Carabao Cup, Jordan Ayew. He, he scores quite a lot of goals. He just can't do it in the league. For whatever reason, he just decides not to do it in the league. Oh, he hits the post. Oh, the short cross is offside. Oof. Some warning signs here from Stoke. So we'll have a look at this highlight and then we'll make some changes. Depending on what happens, to be honest with you. Oh, it's a good interception by Rika. Fosu Mensa. It's back to Timo Horn. Our sweeper keeper. Rika to Young. No, to Johnny. To Johnny. Now he's young on the right-hand side there, but Pabon with the ball. Oh, that's a decent ball to Bojan. Oh, it's a brilliant save by Timo Horn. Oh, they still got the ball, though. They're still looking threatening. Can we close it down? Oh, we get that ball back. That's it. Right, let's make some changes here. So, yeah, I'm going to bring on Lorente for Mesa. And I think I'm pretty good. Lorente, what would you prefer to play? We might put you on defend there. So, because obviously Berg's going to be up in this space. So, Lorente's going to be dropping back. So, they've brought Barahino on. So, it looks like we're seeing out the game. I say that as they have a corner. As they have an attacking threat on us. Oh, that was a nothing cross. Vargas recrosses it in. Pavon. John Flanagan. Berahino with a free header. But Timo Horn. Timo Horn don't care about your free headers, Berahino. And we get the corner. Oh, and it's a goal! Fernandez. Just the Stoke look threatening. We counter that with a goal of our own. Johnny crosses it in. I think it's Boney that headers it. Yep. 
headers it into the path of Fernandez. We've scored two goals like that this season where someone's headed it on and then we've had an easy finish in. So with our last sub, uh, who can we sub off here? Who's looking a bit tired? Uh, Boney's looking a bit tired. We'll bring Leroy Fee on. So we're going to stay on control. We might as well. I was going to go defensive. There's no point now with 3-0 up. So we're more than likely going to see this out. Hopefully we can keep a clean sheet. And John Flanagan gives it straight back to us. And Rika's going to pump that upfield. Oh, that's to Johnny. Johnny's got the space. He sees Stuani. And Stuani makes it 4-0. And this is a dominant performance for the Swans. Against a team that were in third place. Although they're now fifth. But still, what a performance by the team. This is how I like to play football. Johnny sees Duwani making the run. And he just slots in the bottom corner. And that is easy. Our home form is brilliant. I, go, I, I think it's our away form I'm more worried about. At home, we can beat anyone. And the Swansea City players. That was brilliant, the guys. Well done, lads. Good win. And that's going to take us up to 10th in the table. If I can maybe extend this. Oh, we go to 8th. Even better. 8th in the table. How much is LaSalle's out for? 3 to 6 weeks. Oh, 3 to 6 weeks. So that means we've got Mawson, Bartley and LaSalle's all injured at the moment. So we've only got Timothy Fosumensa and Fernandez. As our centre backs at the moment at the club, so uh, we might struggle with games coming up. So that's going to be the Stoke game done. We've done well there. We've got our win. Stuani on form. Who have we got next? We got Everton away next in a week's time. So we'll catch you at the Everton game. And we are back. And apparently we face the impossible. We are ten to one to beat Everton at Goodison Park. I put a cheeky pound on it, you know. Not ten to one though. I mean, I know Everton are on a six match on beating streak, but I don't think they're that good. We'll soon find out anyway. Here's our tactics for the game. Uh, Kyle Bartley has recovered from injury. It's just brilliant timing as Lascelles got injured in the last game. So young Fernandez, Bartley, Rika. We're going to play defensive. So Laurent is going to come in as a DM. Mason and Berg, obviously midfielders. Stuani and Johnny on the wings, and we're going to keep Jordan Ayew up front for the game. We're going to play counter-attack and highly structured. Apparently I have one substitute outside... How do I have one substitute outside of the match squad? Oh, Lascelles. Sorry, Lascelles. Even if I wanted to pick you, I can't. So, let this get on with it. So, 10 to 1 we are to win this game. 10 to 1. We'll, we'll see if the Buckies are right on this one. Because I don't, I know Everton, obviously, they got a better squad than us, I would say. But I wouldn't say by that much of a margin, surely. Although they have started off very well. Uh, they've had two shots already, and they are, have got most of the possession. So may, maybe there's some truth to these pre match odds that they're giving us. But there's been nothing of note in the first 23, 25 minutes. Which I think is a good sign away from home. They got Fabio Cohen Trow in their team. But Bessic in the middle to Ghana. Never heard of Ghana. Yannick Palassi. To Zaba Costa. There's a cross in. And oh, 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 it's a penalty. Oh, come on, everyone. Donate your energy to Timo Horn. You could do it, Timo Horn. You are a class goalkeeper. Ah, oh, you went the wrong way. So half an hour in. We're 1-0 down due to a penalty. To be fair, it looked like a penalty. It was a bit very scrappy towards the goal there. Although Timo Horn now seems motivated. So he's going to play amazingly. Keen. Long ball to the wing. blassie has got pace. Which we can't keep up with. Crosses it in. But Young gets rid. Kevin Morales. 
Oh, big with a tackle. You now, can we counter attack? Stuani. To Young, to Big, to Lorente. We're doing a nice little pass in football here. That's a decent ball to Stuani. Rocky Mesa. That's a nice ball to Jordan Ayu. Oh, it's a good save. Jordan Ayu just in the league. He just can't score in the league. Carabao Cup, he can score a million goals. But in the league, he can't score. And we need to take these chances if we're going to get back into this game. So we're coming up to half time. There we go. So we're only one down due to a penalty. So that team talk seems to have done the job. Do I want to bring on Boney? Well, I could bring on Borja Baston. But I'm going to bring on Boney. I'm going to make him a target man, as is that's his favourite position. Because I just don't feel as if Jordan Ayew in the league offers me anything of note. So I'm hoping Boney can do the job for me. Show me why. He played quite well as a, a, a attacking midfielder. About an hour in. I think I can demand more from my team. But Sander Berg gets the ball. Stuani. What can he do with the ball on the right hand side? He's going to walk it as far as he can. Sander Berg. Roque Mesa. Oh, he gets dispossessed by Schneidlin though. And are Everton going to be in a counter attack of their own? Or oh, not if Sebastian Young has anything to say about it. And he plays in Stuani. Plays in Boney. And he had more time. He had more time. Why did he hit it first time? It was a brilliant tackle by Young. But both for Boney had more time than that. So we're going to have 75 minutes now. Do we go for it? Do we go for it? We could go attacking. The problem is I haven't really got... Well, I could bring Boney as an attacking playmaker. We'll bring off Marcus Lorente and bring Borja Baston on. I think we're going to do it. I think we're going to do it. We're going to go attacking. We're going to see if we can try and get a result here. So we, we, it's either going to be 2-0 or one all. It's one of those two. I called it. I called it. I was, it was either going to be 2-0 or one all. And Everton take advantage of our new attacking formation. It was just a through ball. Who's that? Who's that? Who are you? Fernandez, Fernandez's fault. He's not even our first choice centre back. We've got neither of our first choice centre backs in our team. They're both injured. Lascelles and Mawson, both of them are injured. Well, now I've got Fernandez highlighted all the time. There we are. So Everton are going to be the winners of this game. So the for the people who put the pound on at ten to one, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, guys. I mean, it could have gone either way. As much as it was 2-0, they had the penalty, which was deserved. I went attacking, and it came back to bite us. So, you know. Oh, for God! For God! I'm, oh, I'm going to stop listening to my sister manager. I'm going to stop listening to my sister manager. He's no longer doing the team talks. So, Everton do win 2-0. So, where does that put us? Puts us in 11th place. So I don't think there's been much movement on that front. So, you know, we're where we're, we're expected to be. We're expected to be mid-table. That's where we are. 10 points from 7 games. We're still ahead of the games to points ratio. So if we look at the schedule, let's see where, we, where we're going to come back. So I think we'll come back. For the Newcastle game in the Cup. We'll have a bit of a Cup episode. The Carabao Cup. You know, we've got to the fourth round. I mean, where, where do they expect us to come? Fourth round. So we've met our expectations. 
So we could have a bit of a cup run, like the FA Cup semi-final from last season. We could also do the West Ham game as well. So that might be so that'll be two winnable games, I would say. So in between, so the the game that you're not going to see is going to be the Man United away. I like how we got all the big teams away: Tottenham away, Liverpool away, Man City away, Man United away, and Chelsea away, Arsenal away. So we've got all the big teams to play at home at the second half of the season. So that will be very interesting because our home form is very good. I mean, we've every we've won that home game, won that home game, won that home game. We've won every home game this season. So, our home form is definitely better than our away form. So that's something I should uh, keep in mind, to be honest with you. So, the attacking formation is working. The defensive one, maybe not. But that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. As usual, we release episodes every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, 4pm GMT. And next time, we'll have the Carabao Cup and the game against West Ham. See you next time.